So this is part two of our continuous growth and decay rate. So they're going to be giving us the problems and we're going to pull out that initial amount and that decay or growth rate and put it together into our function. So if you remember our continuous growth or decay is of this form. And so what we're looking for is our a zero and our k in the problem so that we can create an exponential function. So if the population of Mexico is around 106 million, now, see now that's talking about our initial. So we can already start and say that that's 106. We do need to make a little note that A is number of people in millions, because otherwise we're talking about 104 people, which is definitely not true. So 100, 106 million people. If the population decreases constantly, so if it's decreasing, we already know that this is going to be a dk. They also then stated over here dk. So our rate would be 0 0.0117 t and you got to put a negative. So we're over 2 with the decimal and there we go. Now we have our exponential function and we can find anything we want. So it says what will the population be in 8 years? We just have to plug in 8. Plug that in our calculator. So it's 106 million. And then to get to the exponential second and ln, and now we have our e to the x, negative 0 0.0117, that's our rate, times eight years, hit enter, and we get 96 million point five, we'll just say 0 0.5, 96.5 million. So this would then be 96.5 million. It does say answer in millions, so we'll just make that 97 around it million people. So how many do we expect to have eight years? 97 million. All right, let's try another one. So it says the atmospheric pressure, P in pounds per square inch, decreases exponentially with altitude H. So again, let's write these things down. H is our altitude. And it's in miles. P is our pressure. in pounds per square inch. All right, so it says, what is the atmospheric pressure at sea level? Well, sea level is zero miles high. That's what that means. So that means we have the initial value and so we don't have to plug anything in. If you want to, you can, but we already know it's 14.7 pounds per square inch because all we have to do is pick the initial value and our initial value is always sitting in front. Next question is, what is the atmospheric pressure at four miles? So now we would have to plug in four into our calculator and see what it gives us. Okay, so we have 14.7, and again, second ln, negative 0.21. So again, it's a decay rate, times four, hit enter, and we get 6.5. So 6.35 pounds per square inch. There we go. So is the atmospheric pressure increasing or decreasing as height increases? Or is it decreasing? You can see it in both ways. One, it says it's a decay rate. And the other, you can see it's actually going down. So as we increase our height from 0 to 4 miles, it's now 6.35. Okay, here's another one. It says the World Health Organization estimated that there were 3.1 million deaths worldwide from AIDS during the year 2004. Assuming that the number continues to increase at a relative growth rate of 4.3% compounded continuously, or continuous growth rate, uh, estimate the number of deaths during the year 2020. So this is a little depressing of a problem, but same thing. We have A of T. You can get these numbers. So there's 3.1 million E, and then we have a growth rate. So again, over two, 0.043 T. So again, you want to write out what it is. T is years since 2004, and then A equals number of deaths. And so now all we have to do is plug in what 2020 is. So if 2020, we minus 2004, and that gives us 16. So that's our T. So 3.1 e to the 0 0.043 times 16. Plug that in the calculator. So 
point one second ln and then point zero four three times sixteen hit enter and we get uh six point two we'll just say six point two so six point two and I can't write death see so this is why we gotta say in millions over here so that we don't forget it because it's not 6.2 deaths it's 6.2 you got it million deaths so you can go online right now if you want and look that up